You know, uh, when a crunch has suffered a damage, that means then the uh, main bearing or the rod bearing is pulled over, causing a damage on a mechanical component, and as consequence, we have to replace the crankshaft. This is the case of this engine block right here, the one sitting on, uh, it suffered a bearing damage, in this case, on the main bearing cap number seven, and the bearing spun over and damaged the crankshaft and also the engine block. When the engine block suffered a damage, that is the issue. If the connecting rod suffered a damage, then the bearing is pulled over. We can replace the crankshaft and reuse the engine block. But when the main bearing suffers a damage, that is a totally different um, history. And um, there is many different ways to repair that problem. And that is what we're gonna talk about it. Um, we can talk about then the easiest way, the cheapest way, will be to buy a new a, new, uh, a used engine. You can buy a used engine, put it on your truck, and that's it. But uh, if you want to repair your own engine, uh, that will be different. Um, you can get a used cylinder block and put it on, and a used crankshaft and put it on together, and probably can work. Uh, you can get a new cylinder block, but that is way too expensive and the other solution is repairing your own block and that is what I'm going to focus. How is it like to repair your own block uh, if you want to reuse it? This is the case of this uh, cylinder block that I'm sitting on and uh, that is the reason why I'm trying to do this video. So um, if we go to the back of the of the engine block we want to see where the repair has been done. In this case, the rear area of the uh, GT15 engine is going to be with, where the dry train goes, where the gear goes and everything. So this is going to be main cap number seven. If you pay close attention, the color of this metal thing is right here, and the color thing is, uh, the, this metal thing is right here, has a different tone of color. You can see they don't match and the reason why they don't match is because this one has been repaired the engine block was repaired because we cannot replace this part this part is fixed to the whole cylinder block so the only way to repair it is by machining this out and putting a new insert in this case that is the reason why we have these in the case of the cap this is the main cap right here you can buy a new or a used cap that is in a good condition and you can put it on and that is not a problem but in the case of the engine block you cannot do that you have to cut it you have to cut it all the way you see how deep this is cut and that is where the insert goes filling up the metal that was removed so we can get back the tolerance that we need to install the new crankshaft. This is a way to repair the engine block if for any reason your engine block suffer a damage then the uh, crankshaft, especially on the main caps, if the connecting rods are the ones that suffer the damage, you don't have to worry about this. But if the crankshaft on the main caps, then are these ones, are the ones that are holding, uh, they are holding the crankshaft on place, if that one is the one that suffer the damage, this is the way to repair it. And there is other ways, as I said before, you can replace the block with a used one, you can buy a new block, or you can buy a used engine, which is going to be all the same way, probably not it's going to, it's not going to be the best, but uh, either, either option can repair the problem. But if you want to go for the uh, solution that is repairing your own block, this is what they're gonna do. They're gonna remove it. There is other ways to replace this, I mean, to repair this problem. They are going to cut the engine block and they are going to insert a oversized bearing and the oversized bearing is going to take the place of this um, metal that was removed from the engine block and from the cap. It's going to be a thicker metal, a thicker um, 
uh, cup, uh, main cup, main, main uh, bearing cup. So uh, this is going to take the room of the surface that was removed and then you're going to have the same crankshaft with the same specs and this is going to be the bearing instead a metal piece like this one. But uh, this is not going to be uh, something that is going to happen uh, to you at any time like soon or anything this happens randomly in this case this truck was running fine and suddenly the main bearing cap on the cylinder i mean on the uh, number seven just spoon over and uh for no reason mm, we don't have a specific reason for it but the way to fix it is doing this this is the way we're gonna do in this case we already have all the parts we have the cylinder head on it and we have other components that we need to re replace uh, all the components that we need and repair the engine completely but this was the main concern repairing the main cap number seven now what we need is a new crankshaft or a used one and then uh, we are ready for installation but uh, if you wonder how much a repair like this is going to cost well just repairing the block just repairing this part of the block costs around like probably like eight hundred dollars to repair repair this one um, plus the head around like this is a um this is a rebuild head from a, a random um, machine shop so this is going to cost around like what like fourteen hundred dollars and plus all the other components overhaul kits and everything crankshaft and everything so basically you're looking to spend minimum minimum around sixteen thousand dollars to repair this problem but uh, it is just uh, a clear demonstration of what uh, problem could be uh, the solution of a problem like this could be uh, uh, there is no much to explain, but just to uh, give you the idea on what is going to be the repair to do. I don't, I don't have specific videos where they are repairing an engine block, but I will try to do that so you can see how it's like to repair the engine block and what they have to do to actually get the tolerances back on place when they are doing this type of repairs. Because this uh, machine shop, this machine uh, machining, uh, labor is totally different than what we do as mechanics these are they take this type of repairs repairing engine blocks requires a different type of equipment dif uh, different type of knowledge than uh, a conventional mechanic don't use but anyway uh, we wait uh, we're gonna work on that later for the moment I uh, wanna leave this one right here and uh, probably later I'm going to try to work on that but uh, if for any reason there is no question uh, there is questions about this um, specific problem if you happen to have this problem right now or if this problem happened to you you can comment below uh, you can share how you fixed this problem what you did what was the issue here what was the issue there uh, you can comment below so everybody that is watching this video can get the idea on how it's like to repair a problem like this. Also, if there is a question about this video, comment below or go to Instagram. Look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube. You can ask me anything there. Just be sure to be patient at the moment you're asking me the questions. You want to send support to the channel? Just look at the description of the video where I have details how to send support to the channel. Create content like this requires some kind of contribution. So if you can help me with that, it will be greatly appreciated. So uh, I hope you like the video, share it, subscribe. Thank you for watching.